Hey guys, Robert here from Rob is Tech. Today I'm taking a look at the Go Groove Flexmart X2 wireless in-car FM transmitter. Oof, that's a mouthful. This is a essentially an FM transmitter that lets you connect your phone over Bluetooth and stream that to an FM station that you can then uh, pick up on your car. It's only 50 bucks on Amazon, so of course, link below uh, will take you to that link to where you can buy it on Amazon. Uh, get into the box here. I hate plastic packaging, as you can see. It's very annoying, but once I actually rip into it and get everything out, you'll see that it pretty much bre breaks down to a few pretty much simple items. Uh, there's a wide shot over there. It's essentially some warranty information. You're going to get a quick start manual that shows you what the buttons on the device do. You have the device itself, some miscellaneous cables, and of course the unit itself that plugs into the cigarette outlet and the gooseneck flexible arm that the device attaches to. The device itself is pretty simple. You got play, pause, skip, and go back buttons as well as a tuning button and call buttons for ending a call and starting a call. And there's the adapter on the back for the gooseneck arm. You have a USB outlet on the side that will let you connect your device for charging as well as line input and line output uh, ports on the side. The company also includes some miscellaneous 3.5 millimeter cables as well as some weird USB to micro USB cable, which is kind of odd that they would throw that in and nothing else. Um, but the device itself is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be essential for you if you're like me and don't have an AUX port built into your car, but you want to be able to stream your phone um, calls as well as like Bluetooth, like uh, Pandora and Spotify music into your car radio. Here's how you're going to do it. Let's go and go into the car and see how this thing works. Alright guys, so we've now gone ahead and switched to the uh, car mode here. I apologize, I have uh, no way to fit a tripod in here and I'm kind of doing a handheld, but just want to show you guys off what it is. So there's the unit actually installed in my car, as you can see, 2001 Honda Civic doesn't have a uh, AUX jack in it. So instead of paying to get the whole head unit replaced, why not just do this? And I'm not too much of an audiophile anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So um, there it is there, as you can see, it's all mounted and everything. Um, we have the different buttons there, we have the call buttons we have the regular stuff and I've been kind of using this for a while um, let me go ahead and turn it on and show you guys what it's like so turn that on here Is this thing going to be? There it goes. All right, so as you can see here, I did a quick scan on the radio just to see which frequency worked best for me, and I have 107.7. There's no, I thought this thing would kind of auto-detect and find the best one, but it didn't. I looked online for an open frequency scanner, and, and that kind of helped me. And I also just kind of went on the radio and just went to see if I could find dead air. I mean, if you can you know, go on the radio, go to the FM channels, and just kind of tune to see if you can find anywhere where you're just getting a lot of garbage and everything, that's going to be the channel you want to use. Because again, this thing is basically just a a small FM transmitter. So let me go ahead and see if this thing should be paired to the phone. Um, let me look. Yep, it's. I can see on the iPhone here. Sorry, let me. So you can see on, I'm on iOS 7 currently, but you can see it's paired. It's not perfect. It's not going to be as good as an AUX jack. It's not going to be, you know, the best solution out there, but at least instead of, you know, having no solution, instead of having a speaker, at least this will hook up to your car's speaker. So let me go ahead and find something to play here. All right, let me go ahead and uh, switch the microphone around so you're not it's not pointing at my face, and we'll do a quick demo of what it sounds like. All right, so now that it's actually pointed away from me, let me go ahead and turn on the radio here. And you'll see it is on 107.7, which is what I'm using. And let's go ahead and play, I don't know, uh, here's an instrumental song. Let's go ahead and play for, you know, just kind of show it off. Can I hear it there? Then the, the speakers in the car aren't the best, and this thing isn't necessarily the best. But let me try, which is something else. Um, here we go. I won't go through too much here, but obviously, you know, it works okay. You do hear, though, if I'm silent, you'll listen really closely. You will have a little bit of, you will hear a little bit of FM noise. You can hear that, see? And that's basically the, um, that's the FM frequency trying to break in. So if I turn this off, you'll hear the FM station under it. So if I turn this off, and see how it's all, it's all kind of a mess? And that's why I chose the station. So if I turn this on, 
then the signal will go over it. So basically, this thing is just kind of broadcasting over that signal, and that's why it works. Um, but it, it's certainly not perfect, and the, that's the phone pairing. But um, overall, I found that, you know, it, it works out okay, um, you know, using it and driving it around. It, it's certainly better than nothing. I can't really speak about call quality because I really don't use it for that. But I just, you know, use it to stream Pandora or Spotify, and I could say that it's, it, it's decent. It's not anything good. It's certainly not the best solution. But if you're at your last resort and you don't want to pay to get the whole head unit replaced like I do because I'm not going to be in this car for more than a year um, you know this is going to be the great this is going to be the, the solution you're going to want so uh, if you guys want me to do more audio quality tests uh, let me know I just you know I did a couple and it, it sounds decent of course a lot of it's going to have to depend on your the, the car your um, the car itself how you know good are the car speakers this is you know this Honda Civic doesn't have exactly a great stereo system but you know for, for listening to audio and for getting phone calls and all that it, it works out pretty well so um, that's going to be it. That's going to be it for my overview. Hope you guys a little uh, enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.